I'd like to remind you that when the press conference are in progress here, the locker rooms are open at the same time. Uh, I'd also like to remind you there's no flash photography and no videotaping here. Um, if you have a question, please raise your hand, wait for the microphone to get to you, and then you can go ahead and ask your question. Coach, if we could start the press conference with an opening statement, please. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm proud of our effort, especially on the defensive end. Uh, they have a lot of kids that, you know, shoot the three extremely well and, and can get to the rim. And so, um, you know, to hold them to single digits the first three quarters was a great accomplishment. Um, you know, on the other hand, like to see us play a little better offensively and hopefully we'll, uh, you know, get that going. But uh, again, obviously I have a great uh, love for Chattanooga and, and UTC. It was, you know, not, I, I was afraid the NCAA committee was going to do this. Uh, but uh, again, proud of them too. Uh, they've had an awesome year and, um, you know, it's a great place. So uh, congrats to them on their season and, uh, Again, we're, I'm, you know, I'm proud of these young ladies and, and what they were able to do. Okay, now we're going to open the floor up for questions for the student athletes. So does anyone have a question for the student athletes? Right behind you there, Chatham. Isaiah, you shot just one make for the three-point line from the first three quarters, but then you rocketed off for four in that fourth quarter. What electrified going hot in that last period? You know, just allowing the game to come to me, um, not forcing up the shots because I wasn't hitting in the first half. So not not letting that get to me, just keeping my head up high and just keep going. And yeah, it, it did well for me in the second half. Okay, anyone else have a question for the student athletes? Can we go over here in the front, Peter? Ladies, um, First nine shots, you guys were one for nine to start early five minutes. What, what were you guys saying to each other there? I mean, it was one of those, you had them contained too, but what were your thoughts first five minutes there? River, could you answer that, please? Yeah, I think um, we just had to let the game come to us. I mean, when we're not hitting early, we just stay together and let our defense lead to offense. And when we get the momentum going, we're usually good. Other questions for the student athletes? I'll let the assistant coaches coach that segment, so that was. <laughs> <laughs> Anything for the student? Let's go up front here. River, it seemed like there was a pretty big battle, especially early on on the boards. Uh, you, you ended up with uh, 11 rebounds, six of them on the offensive end. What was the key to kind of adjusting to these, these, these guys are really getting after us. We need, uh, and I'm trying to winning that battle on the glass. Um, yeah, just we knew we had a size advantage in sending three to the boards like we usually try to do. Um, as long as we crashed, we knew we had a size advantage, so that would benefit us. Okay, let's go back to Peter up front here. Okay, so looking forward, what are you guys thinking about with Tennessee? Any different preparation? Uh, Isaiah, if you can answer that. Um, What's the thoughts here from the locker room? You know, just taking this game, watching the film, and see what uh, we did wrong to execute it better in the next game. But, you know, just taking our time and just going to the next step. Okay, let's go to Bob, and then we'll go in the back. Bob Sutton from the Associated Press. What does it mean when you hold a team under 50 points for either of the players? Uh, Azai, could you answer that, please? Um, it, it feels good, you know, um, that we did – you know, good on offense as well. We could have done better, um, but I feel like our defense is getting better as well. So, yeah, that's mostly where it comes from. Right next to you, Chapman. Uh, this is for both of the players. A junior, a senior, every year that you've played with NC State, you've made the NCAA tournament. What has changed about your game from your freshman year to now your senior and junior year, both mentally and physically? River, could you answer that first, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I've grown up a lot, um, and I would say my two years at NC State, I've been in the best shape that I've been the whole time I've played basketball, so credit to our staff for um, putting us through the summer workouts, even though they were horrible, and um, just getting us ready and prepped for the season. 
Zai, do you have anything to add? Um, I definitely grown a lot from my freshman year. Um, just soaking up all the information in my starting my freshman year and for where to get me, where has it got me now and stuff like that. Just being a leader on this team, so it, yeah, it's a major difference. Okay, let's go over here. Gabrielle Lewis, the next. Um, you're going up against an SEC squad tomorrow. You're no stranger to playing SEC teams. When you think of the SEC, you know what comes to mind, and particularly on the defensive end. Zai, could you go first this time? You th like us on defense? SEC, the SEC. Oh, the SEC defense. You know, just executing whatever Coach Moore says and just making sure we are not, like, rushing ourselves and we're staying patient and just letting the game come to us. And, yeah. River, do you have anything to add? I think a big piece of um, – playing the SEC teams is the physicality that they bring and just matching that physicality and um, playing our game. Any other questions for the student athletes? All right, ladies, you're excused. Thank you very much and congratulations. And we'll now open up the floor for questions for Coach Moore. Any questions? Right in front of you, Chapman, and then we'll go over here. Coach, could you speak on the slow start a little bit to the game? I'm sorry, the what? The slow start, the shooting yeah. percentage. Well, we hadn't played in a couple of weeks, so let's blame it on that. You know, I don't know. Um, you know, and again, like I said, you hadn't played in a while, and, uh, you know, you're excited, adrenaline, all that. We just, uh, you know, I thought we had some good looks. We just didn't knock shots down, and um, again, fortunately, we kind of got in the flow a little bit later, but... Uh, you know, we're going to need to try to get off to a better start. Hopefully getting this first game out of the way will help that come Monday. Okay, let's go over here. Could you speak to River's performance tonight, and are you hoping to get her more touches out there? Yeah, you know, again, let's, let's face it. They, uh, Chattanooga was smart. They kind of packed it in on her and made it hard for her to get it. And if she did get it, they doubled her, which we, we anticipated that happening. Uh, but it's still tough when, you know, when you got – somebody in your face as soon as you catch it. So, uh, yeah, I think there's no secret. We got we to gotta shoot better from the perimeter. You know, if they're going to double, we got to be able to kick it out and, and keep the defense honest. So, but, uh, you know, River, thing jumps off my page, off the page here to me is six offensive rebounds and nobody else on our team had more than one. Uh, so, you know, that's why sometimes, and then she ended up with a total of 11. That's why sometimes it's hard for me to take her out because I just think she's, uh, you know, so uh, has such a presence on the boards on both ends. Okay, let's go on the aisle there. Um, the team held UTC to under 10 points throughout the first three quarters. How does that speak to the conditioning of the team and how they're able to play throughout multiple minutes and tough plays? Yeah, you know, of course, like I said, I spent 15 years coaching at Chattanooga. I think the tough part when you uh, come into a game like this uh, is the the defense is now a little longer and maybe a little more athletic, and you tend to rush your shot. And I thought we did a pretty good job. You know, there were certain things we wanted to do to, you know, take away a right hand. Uh, you know, gr they got some great shooters. I mean, y'all, the two freshmen they bring in off the bench in, in conference play are shooting 65% from three and 42% from three. And so we just really stressed, you know, you can't overhelp, you can't uh, get tied up in a pick, you got to, you know, get out to them. And, and so I thought our players did a pretty good job. Again, I thought we slipped a little bit in the third, late in the third and the fourth of, of taking away people's strengths. Uh, but for the most part, I thought we did a pretty good job of that. But it, that's probably the toughest part. I mean, I know when I was at Chat, we, we played uh, Tennessee every year and, you know, it's it's hard to shoot your normal percentages and all when the defense is a little longer and, and a little more athletic. Okay, let's go over to the side. Coach, uh, looking ahead to Monday's matchup. <clears throat> Do we <obviously>. have to? <laughs> uh, only two coaches have succeeded. K. Al's uh, mm -hmm. long tenure at NC State, Coach Harper, and obviously mm -hmm. you. Uh, speaking from like a historical standpoint, what is the significance of Monday's matchup just from a just from that sort of standpoint? Yeah. Well, I court. mean, to be honest with you, I hadn't thought too much about that aspect of it. Uh, Kelly and John, for that matter, are two of my dearest friends in the coaching profession. 
Um, you know, we worked together at Chattanooga for four years, I believe. Um, you know, John, I was trying to hire Kelly away from Auburn, didn't have the money to match it up. So then I said, what if I hire John as the third assistant? Okay, so uh, that's how I pulled that off, man. You know, I was, and John didn't make much money, but he had two responsibilities, go to lunch with me every day and play golf anytime I wanted to. <laughs> so it was a pretty good job. I can't believe he left me and went with Kelly, to be honest. But uh, no, I mean, again, that's the tough part. Uh, Madison Hayes being from Chattanooga. When the first bracket came up, she looked at me, oh, wow, Chattanooga. I said, I knew that was coming, and now get ready. Tennessee's going to be the next one. Boom. I knew the committee was going to do this. So uh, Kelly and I, we've avoided playing each other in a regular season game. We scrimmage each other often in the fall. Uh, but we, uh, you know, again, close friends, and I hate it. But, you know, same time, I get it. We've been fortunate to dodge it as long as we have. And, uh, you know, it's uh, on the other part of that, it's going to be a great challenge because they're very, very talented. But. You know, as far as, uh, you know, you think about Kelly, she followed Kay Yao and, and then not directly, but then kind of followed Pat Summit. So she's been in some pretty good company. Uh, and uh, two of those people, those, both those people had a great impact on my career. Uh, I started out coaching at Maryville College in Tennessee, or as we say, Maryville. And, uh, you know, Pat Summit was really good to me during those times. So uh, a lot of history. I've got two degrees from Tennessee. So... Uh, which if you saw my high school diploma, you would say, wow, that's pretty amazing. But, uh, our high school transcript. But anyway, uh, you know, both of us, you know, I was obviously an assistant with Kay Yao and uh, spent, t spent a couple of years here with her. And, um, and then, like I said, Kelly directly followed her. So uh, uh, we both have, you know, have a lot of, you know, I look at, Coach Yao, what a person she was and what she's still doing with the K. Yao Foundation is amazing. So, uh, yeah, it is. It, it, it's not lost, though. I realize it. On the edge here. <clears throat> hey, Coach, speaking of Madison Hayes, uh, she had that early, uh, kind of play really early in the game when the kind of a wild pass went into the, went into the backcourt and she won, won the foot race, yeah. got down the court and got an and one. Yeah. Just how big was that in terms of yeah. setting the tone yeah. and like, okay, let's get ready to play. Yeah. Chattanooga's got a good uh, yeah. pretty contingent coming down here. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, Madison, you know, she's uh, – you got to love her. I mean, she's going to give you everything she's got. She's our – you know, I, I consider her kind of a glue player for us. She'll defend the best perimeter player. She'll rebound. She'll nail threes. Uh, so, you know, again, obviously I knew about Madison a long time ago from my time at Chattanooga. I knew a lot of her family and friends. She turned me down the first time, uh, but uh, luckily got her back on the rebound. And, uh, yeah, she's, you know, she's a big part of what we do. And a, a big, I, I agree. I think that was a big play, her outrunning that and, and then being able to get to the rim uh, kind of set the tone a little bit. Okay, we're going to go on the corner, then we'll get you two, and that will be the last question. Yeah. We're having fun, man. I've got rules. <laughs> um, you, you touched on this a little bit with uh, Tennessee already, but do you pay any attention to uh, non-conference opponents besides SEC schools, or have you been watching the tournament at all? Uh, you know, I, I definitely follow Tennessee, you know, again, because of the connection and ties there. But, you know, I'd say probably if I'm just watching, I'm probably going to be more likely to watch an ACC team or game or whatever and um but uh yeah definitely i you know again power five we definitely follow all of them and um got great respect for for uh tennessee and for that league okay let's go over here coach going back to your relationship with the harpers you know as a human being, how do you put away the, the friendship side and just go out there and compete? And then also, have you spoke with Kelly or John since the brackets came out? Oh, yeah. I picked up John the night they got here, and we went to Yard House and watched basketball on TV. Uh, he ate, and I cheered for the Wolfpack men. So it was a great night. Um, yeah, you know, again, uh, we go way back. Heck, I tried to recruit Kelly out of high school when I was here at NC State, and um, – you know, so have that little connection, but just the years we had together at Chattanooga were some of my favorite years. And, 
John and I still go to Vegas with a bunch of guys for a week every August, and uh, he probably wins and loses a whole lot more than I even take out there with me. But we won't. They've got an agreement. They don't talk about his gambling unless he either wins or loses a million dollars. So, uh, so far he hadn't had to tell Kelly much. But no, they're just great people, and and uh, you know they've done a heck of a job. I mean, y'all, there's only one Pat Summit, you know, and uh, I know heck our fans have gotten a little bit spoiled now and. Tennessee fans obviously have high expectations, uh, but it's tough out here, you know, and that's that's why Coach Keats and I have a special relationship uh, on the men's side. We know how hard it is. You know, this stuff's tough. You know, there's 15 teams in the ACC. If, you know, you finish in the top of that, uh, you know, it, it's not easy. And uh, same way SEC, you know, uh, you know. So, again, uh, they're great people and great coaches, and, uh, and I love them. <laughs> One last question, Peter. Wes, as the journey continues here, what's been the most gratifying thing as a coach watching this particular squad this year, you know, win like Connecticut and just, you know, making this journey with them and you notice things. So what's the most significant and gratifying so far up to date? Yeah, that's tough because when you're in the middle of it, you don't really take the time. You know, I had somebody text me the other day, and when the game sold out like that, and somebody texted me, man, what do you think of this? You know, just think about where you came from, where y'all came from, and where you are now. But, you know, the bad part is I think about the Connecticut game and how well we played, and I'm thinking, how do we, how do we get that again, you know? Because uh, we've, you know, had some great wins. and But I am. I'm proud of them. The, you know, we were picked eighth in the ACC. We were unranked. And uh, but this is not the time to reflect or any of that. You know, you're grinding, and you know, heck, we got a quick turnaround here. And when it's all over, maybe we'll sit back and look at it a little bit. But you know, I think uh, here at NC State too, we got high ex as coaches, as players, we got high expectations, and you know, we haven't really done, you know, anything yet that we uh, that we really. But again, proud of what they've done. They've come a long way, and. Uh, they've, you know, done their best to carry out what we want to do. And, um, you know, so it's been, been an enjoyable journey from that standpoint. Um, they've, we've, I think we've got a pretty good chemistry and they like each other. And, you know, that's, that's a good start. All right. Thank you very much, Coach. And, again, congratulations. Thank you. Uh,